the ball. And I've been saying all year long, our team is very versatile, and many different guys can hurt it, hurt you any night. So I thought uh, it's really good when we move the ball early and establish that, and get everybody involved, and uh, defensively to stay in solid in half court. Never been our issue. Uh, transition has been our problem, and I thought we were much better than that. One thing I've noticed too, even on nights you get off to a slow start, you always finish strong. What do you attribute that to? Uh, just being resilient, being tough, never breaking, never giving up, and uh, it makes it a lot easier on ourselves when we get off the starts like we did tonight instead of having to fight back and claw back. But uh, that's that's the way we got to come out in the first quarter, and that's the way we kind of come out in the third quarter against these teams that we got coming up. So you give you a chance to go up against a lot of the best scorers in the NBA on a nightly basis. What is it that makes it so difficult to stay in front of James Harden and keep him off the line? Uh, I used to guard him, and he's he's strong, and he, uh, he uses his body very well, and he holds the ball low with strong hands and gets a lot of foul calls. And he's just, he's quick and he can really dribble, pick and roll, he can split it. So I really think just his strength and his ball handling, you know, it's tough to guard once he gets in the lane. He's getting into the to the hooper, he's getting the foul call. Anything that you've noticed in terms of the way Jeremy and James are playing a little bit better together that jumps out at you? Uh, no, just being unselfish, moving the ball, making the easy play. I think early on we were forcing, we were, you know, not playing our games. And those guys are, are great players and they can play. They both can have good games together. There's no reason for one to play good and one not to play good. You know, for a team, we should all, like I said, get everyone involved from the tip to play together. They've had 50 combined the last two games, but how do you think it's affecting you and the rest of the players around them? Because obviously everybody's playing good offensively right now. We're 2-0. So that's all I care about. Uh, I'll average zero points a game to keep winning games. So, uh, you know, they're playing great. They're shooting the ball great. And uh, you got to keep, keep doing that. It appeared that last corner three you missed, you knew pretty early that was going to be short when you went after it. Yeah, my shot has not felt the same lately. So I just got to, you know, watch film and get back in the gym. And I got to start knocking this down. But uh, I guess I you knew it was short and did something better, I guess. Well, there was a little anger behind the dunk, I imagine. Yeah, I wasn't too happy. <laughs> Cam, if you could talk about the chemistry and progress this month. Uh, it was good. You know, I think every day we have a chance to be together, we were getting better. And as a team so young, every game, every practice, every film session is huge for us to develop that chemistry and um, you know build from that. And I thought a game like tonight, getting a win on the home court, it's, it's huge. Yeah.